morning, good morning guys. So right now, um, papunta po kami sa aking uh, doctor, my primary care doctor, for my annual checkup. He's my primary physician. <laughs> so yearly, uh, yearly my checkup ako. At uh, sagot naman siya ng insurance. Um, prior to this, nag-blood work na ako. Ayan, di pa maganda yung hand ko. God answers prayer. Ayan, prior to this, nag-blood work na ako. So, medyo mataas yung cholesterol. Okay. Pero, ano ko na yan siguro sa diet. Ayan, yan, yan ang aming dog, si Aurora. Laging kasama in our, our bunny. Nasa likod. And uh, my husband is on the wheels right now. Kasi ako ang pasyente. Okay, so right now we're traversing. Ano ba tong road na to, sweetheart? What road is this? 3500 going to my doctor, to my primary doctor. So yung primary doctor po, siya yung mag-aalaga sa iyo. Um, siya yung magre-refer sa iyo sa mga specialist. Yan, yun yan yung duty. Sa akin nakuha ko family medicine lang. Sa asawa ko internal medicine yung sa kanya. Yan. So mabait naman yung doctor ko. Last year, um, uh, nag-pop smear siya, uh, nag uh, pin-up smear niya ako, tapos uh, you know, check uh, kung may mga lump yeah, sa, sa breast ko, chinep niya, chinep niya din. Granger Medical Clinic to see my doctor. Ito po yung clinic nila. Dito sa West Valley. Ayan. Ito yung clinic nila. Okay. So after this woman, ako naman ano, isa-serve niya. Mm -hmm. Nasa third floor kami. Let me show you. Ayan. Full of apartments. Ayan. Full of apartments dito. Mm -hmm. Apartments. Mm -hmm. Ito naman yung front namin. Yan, kami lang, kami pa lang yung ano, siguro dalawa pa lang patients. Yan. That's my doctor. Yes, he's a uh, <laughs> nose cover. So, this, because this is a clinic. So, I'm here now at his clinic for my health maintenance exam, my yearly checkup. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. How uh, crucial for me to take the rosuvastatin? Is my cholesterol that high or uh, it can be managed by food? Yeah, so I was going to talk with you about that. I'm not a druggie. Because I, I definitely think that you need the medication. Really? Yeah. What would happen if uh, it's not controlled? So if you don't control the cholesterol, then it can build up in your arteries and lead to heart attacks or strokes or kidney failure. Those are the, the three biggest worries. And... Um, Do you think it's related to my breathing issues? No. It's no. allergy. No, I don't think it's related to that at all. This is something completely different. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes the diet can be related to high cholesterol. Very often the uh, genetics, so mm -hmm. just family history, okay. is, is a big part. And so there, there could be people in the family that have high cholesterol and then you got it from them. Okay. And what's her current cholesterol number? 
So the current LDL is 155, and so normal's like 120 or under. Last year, it was worse last time. Oh, okay. It was 170. Oh, really? And so 155 is a little bit better, but still too high. If it was 130 um, or maybe even up to 140, then I would say, okay, we'll just watch it because it's just very mild. Mm -hmm. But if it's 155 and then before 170, that's definitely too high. Do I need to take it regularly? Yes. And so I For would definitely long? recommend. For how long? It'll probably be forever. Yeah. yeah. Most of the time when people are, are, um, uh, eating okay and, and getting some exercise and, and their body weight is normal. Those are probably the three biggest things that people uh, can improve. Mm -hmm. But when those are already okay, mm -hmm. then it's usually uh, the genetics. And am, am I obese? Am I not obese? No, no. You did gain a couple of pounds since last year, mm -hmm. but you're still okay that way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And mm -hmm. you're still exercising, right? Yeah, we're playing. Good. Yeah. yeah. And, and also, after and then with the diet, it's still okay. Yeah, yeah. You don't eat a lot of like greasy foods or fatty foods. Yeah, he's, yeah. She he's does compared to me. Yeah, he's my controller because he eats um, better than me. Okay. Okay. He takes care. And so you could work on the diet and try to eat less of those greasy foods, mm -hmm. fatty foods. Mm -hmm. But I, I really don't think that's going to be enough. I think that. It, that the medicine would be needed okay. yeah and so i would recommend it and then though after uh, eating i have some breathing problems still but it's it's not uh, the the thing that you gave me help uh -huh. but, but right now i'm using just a virgin coconut oil because i am i'm having pain here maybe because of peaking so okay. this coconut oil is natural okay yeah, yeah. so it, it helps yeah yeah lubricate my nose yeah. And do you think I should see a pulmonologist or a allergist for my breathing problem? So I, th I think either one of them would do a good job. Um, you, had, you had gone and had the testing with one of our pulmonologists, mm -hmm. and they had shown that your, okay. your, your breathing was okay. It didn't show any asthma or things like oh, that. And so maybe an allergist might be a little bit better. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. uh, just because it's probably more likely the allergies, um, but either one of those specialists could, can could treat, help with that. Uh, can treat yeah. allergy. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But I think the allergist might be a little bit better. Okay. Yeah, yes, okay. uh, they would be I more agree. more focused on that. Yeah. yeah. The other aspects of your blood tests. So your blood sugar was totally normal, and that's good. Mm -hmm. The kidneys were totally normal, and that's, of course, a great thing. Mm -hmm. The liver was normal. And then the electrolytes, like the sodium, the potassium, the calcium, all of those were normal. And so all of the other tests were good. Mm -hmm. It's just the cholesterol. That's, that's the bad one. We, both, else looked we both have the same problem. Everything's normal with me but the cholesterol. <laughs> yeah. Um, last year we did your pap smear, mm -hmm. and that was normal and negative, mm -hmm. and the HPV test was negative. So we don't have to do that for a total of five years. Wow. And so four more years from now. So that's great. Mm -hmm. yeah, really great. Yeah, I received a letter uh, for mammography. Mom. I was just about to ask about that, yes, because I was just looking at it. You did it on 5-7 uh, of last year, and it was at the IHC hospital, and it was normal, and, and they said to repeat in a year. And so you had just gotten the letter recently, huh? Yes. Okay. And so you'll be calling them and getting scheduled to do another? Will it, will it not have adverse effect if I do it uh, uh, yearly, the mammogram? No, no, it's mm -hmm. recommended to be done every year. Okay. Yeah, you're supposed to do it every year. Um, the studies that have been done on mammograms um, show that if you do it every year, it has a much better success rate. So if something starts to change and, you know, if a breast cancer or something starts to develop, if you check the mammogram once every year, they will catch it earlier. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. But if people don't do them, you know, more than every few years, mm -hmm. something could have changed a lot in that time, and it might be too late to mm -hmm. treat it. Does that make sense? Do you think I need to have the high risk scan? Because I still have some pain here. I have gall gallstone, a polyp, before. Do you, do you recommend so, it? Let me look. Uh, abdominal and high risk scan, or will it show in the in the blood? So, when did you have the gallbladder in ultrasound? The Philippines, in the Philippines. That's in the Philippines. Okay. Okay. So then, what I would what I would say is that uh, um, if you're having pain and there is known gallstones, that you don't necessarily have to do a HIDA scan. Um, if you're having gallstones and pain, holy, holy. you just might need to have it taken out. Um, a HIDA scan is only done when there aren't any stones, but we worry that the gallbladder isn't functioning correctly. But if there's stones and pain... Is polyp the same as stone? No. It's a different thing. I've, I've had polyp... Um, so you didn't polyp. have stones? No, it's, it's gallbladder polyp. So what do you recommend? Okay. What test? To see so it? then, if it's I would say let's it's get a new ultrasound first. Yes, to see if it's still there. And then if it is still there... It's abdominal scan. What, what kind of scan? It's an ultrasound. Okay. And, and so we could, we could do the ultrasound and see how things look now, and then have a better idea of the, of is the it, treatment options. Is it complete options. abdominal or...? Just... No, it would just be of your gallbladder. Okay. And will it be covered by insurance? I would expect so, um, but I don't know everyone's details of their insurance plan, so I never say a, a definitive yes, but I would expect so. If you wanted to confirm it, you would have to call your insurance. And then, uh, so she showed my liver health, that ultrasound, or just the gallbladder? Um, they will see some of your liver because it's right next to the gallbladder. Um, but the liver, we more worry about the blood tests, and we had seen that that was all normal. Oh. The ultrasound, I have it ordered, and I will have my assistant call one of the scheduling people, um, and then they will call you. Where, where will it be done? Somewhere in um, I think that it's here yeah. in this building, but they will tell you where where to go, and they'll they'll uh, get you the appointment time and. I wonder why sometimes I have this incipiency of feeling hot on my back. What could that be? It could be a million things. I don't know. Yeah. That we'll never be able to give you an answer about. Things like that, who knows? Who knows? <laughs> Did you do your colonoscopy last year? I believe so. And she told me to do it after 10 years. After 10 years. Okay. Who... Who did it? What what doctor did it? I forgot. She was she, Indian. She was Indian. Indian, uh, uh, St. Mark's. She belongs to St. Mark's Union. It was at St. Mark's. Uh, okay. Where is that? Somewhere in oh, it was in uh, Cottonwood, way up near the mountain. I, I can her office, you. anyway. Okay, her office. Where did they do the test at? It was at... Uh, it was at an Inter Intermountain Hospital so, on uh, 53rd South or after five years, in I state. She, and she said it's okay. And she did my ligation. I have hem two hemorrhoids. She uh -huh. did the first, the other one. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. And so they, uh, that doctor did not send me the results. Oh, I see. Okay. So I'll, I'll turn. And so I am going to. Have my assistant try to look in the IHC computer system. Okay. Sometimes we can find the results and then we can just download them mm -hmm. and put them into your chart here. Okay. If we can't find them, then I'll need to have you call their office mm -hmm. and tell them, hey, you didn't send the reports to my regular doctor. And then they can fax me everything. I also have my nerve block. Do you need that one from my automobile accident, Intermountain? Oh, right. now that one is okay. That, that one's okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. But the the colonoscopy, that's a, a real super important. Mm -hmm. And so I'm writing. Okay.
Okay, very good. We'll try to get records. So I'm glad you had it done. That is very, very good. Very good. And I'm glad to hear that it was normal or, you know, that they, they said to repeat in 10 years. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. So the mammogram is one of the most important things. And you got the letter, and so you'll, you'll repeat it. Mm -hmm. The blood tests, I think the second most important thing is the cholesterol. Okay? Mm -hmm. I really would recommend that you take the cholesterol medicine to bring that cholesterol down to lower your future risks. And of it's those the rosuvastatin. Yes, the rosu. Definitely, I would recommend you take that. Okay? okay. Now, if you choose not to, you know, that, you know, it's your option. You know, I'm not going to come to your house every morning and make you take the medicine. But I think that it would be very good for your body okay. and, and your future so that your cholesterol won't lead to those other problems. Okay. When was the last time you saw the dentist? Last year. I had full denture. Okay. Yeah. So it was about a year ago that they checked the dentures, the fit of the dentures and that type of stuff? Yeah. yeah. Good. How did they say everything looked? Uh, did everything look okay? Yeah. Okay, good. They didn't need to adjust the dentures or anything like that? Um, no. Okay, good. Good. Excellent. With, with full dentures, I always recommend to see the dentist at least once a year, just to make sure that the dentures are still fitting well and that, realign, you know, that, need that to realign each other. exactly, do they need to be realigned or, you know, did they break and they need to be replaced or, you know, that type of stuff. It's not like they have to check you for cavities or anything like that, but it's good just to have the dentures checked once a year. And so I'm glad that you've been going. That's wonderful. I like your exercise. And you can work on your diet to help the cholesterol also. Less uh, greasy foods or fried foods or, or red meats, those types of things. Okay? Uh, chicken, yes. Chicken is fine. Chicken is very Yeah, healthy. but it's high grease. It's Thank very you. greasy. Yes, now, if Please you get me. fried chicken, that's not good. But if you have baked chicken or... or you know, we um, ought to start baking it. Other type. And then your blood pressure is lovely. There's, uh, there's no problems there. Mm -hmm. And then the heart rate and temperature and things, those other measurements are okay. Mm -hmm. So the coconut oil is fine. <laughs> the resuvastatin, Resuvastatin. we talked about. The dentist, mm -hmm. okay, good, 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 good. Now let me look at your vaccines. So you had all four of the COVID vaccines, which is excellent. Mm -hmm. You're all finished there. Mm -hmm. You had your flu shot in the fall, which is wonderful. When is the next flu shot? Do I need a pneumococcal? pneumococcal? So uh, not yet, but uh, when you turn 60, oh, then you will. Yeah. Um, so the next flu mm -hmm. shot will be in the fall, like October. Okay. okay. And I can do it here or anywhere? Um, either. You could you could come in here in October and get one. You don't need an appointment. Or you could go to pharmacies or, or any place. Yeah. You had the shingles vaccine. You had all of those. You're finished with the shingles. And then the pneumonia at 60. Um, were you able to find any documentation about the pneumonia, uh, or not the pneumonia, excuse me, the <laughs> tetanus vaccine? No. no. Okay. Okay. From last year, I had written down that you might have had a tetanus shot when you had immigrated to the States a couple of years ago. Um, and you, you were going to look to see if you had any, any records of it, um, but you couldn't find it. No. Okay. Okay. So the tetanus shot is, is a vaccine that's good for 10 years. Okay. So if you did have one when you had come to the States, then you're okay because it's only been a few years. Mm -hmm. But if you didn't have one then, then we just don't know when your last That's one the was. That's the TDAP, right? The TDAP, yeah. exactly. Let, let me ask my friends who came here. That would be great. That would be great. And I would assume that you did have one because most people, when they immigrate, they get one of them. Mm -hmm. And so I would assume that you did. So I, I don't want to give it to you today. But um, if you could uh, look more into it, that'd be lovely. Okay. Yes, the T-DAP. Is it harmful if you get one when you don't need it? 
protection no. for it, deadness. It it wouldn't it wouldn't hurt you to have an extra one, but it would just be and you a need, waste. And you need the colonoscopy result, result. Yes, the colonoscopy. Now I will try to get the colonoscopy results um, um through the computer system, but if we can't, I'll I'll have my assistant call you, and then you could call the doctor. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we'll get the ultrasound done to uh, to look at your gallbladder. Okay. So the blood tests, besides the cholesterol, looked great. Thank you. The last year's mammogram was great, and you'll repeat it. The colonoscopy was good. The pap smear was good. The dentist was good. Your vaccines are, are okay, we think. We're just gonna double check on the on the Tdap, on the tetanus one. And then you're gonna keep exercising and maybe watch the diet a little more closely. Mm -hmm. And I am overall really pretty happy with how you're doing. Thank you. Yeah, it's just it's just those few things. Thank you. But in the big picture. You're very healthy, and I like it. Yeah. You're happy when patients are healthy, right? Yes, I am. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. I am very happy when people are healthy. So we can check your cholesterol again next year, or if you uh, have been taking the medicine regularly, we could even check it like in six months from now. Okay. Um, to make sure that the medicine is working well okay. and keeping the, the cholesterol down. Okay. okay? Mm -hmm. um, but if you say, well, I've been taking it, I think it's working okay, I'll just wait until my next physical in a what year. What are the That's feelings okay. if your cholesterol is high? What do you normally feel? What are the symptoms? You don't have any symptoms of high cholesterol. Really? That's why it's something that we have to check in the blood and, mm -hmm. uh, and monitor that way because you won't have any symptoms. You only have symptoms of of the the other things that it will lead to, so like a heart attack or or those types of things. That's when you have the symptoms, and then they, or they angina, angina. Yes, like exactly. That. You have something like that. You go to the hospital, and they say, "Oh, yes, your your heart arteries are clogged, and you're having a heart attack, and this is because you had high cholesterol for so long, and you didn't do anything about it." That's that's when you would have the symptoms. But just the cholesterol itself, you don't have any symptoms. Yeah. It's just the future risks that we worry about. Thank you. Of course, of course. And uh, when they do the mammogram, they should send me the results. Um, they did last year, which was excellent, and so they should send it to me again. Okay? Mm -hmm. And then once we do the ultrasound, I will let you know of the results and where we go from there, okay? And if it shows uh, stones or a polyp or if we need to do more tests or whatever it is. I'll and the allergist, know. where is he from? The allergist, is it in Mary? Where is it? So our allergist works at a couple of our different offices, but the main office that he works at is at the West Jordan. Then let me listen to your heart and look in your ears and feel your belly, all of those those basic things, just to make sure everything looks okay. Do I need to lie down? No, you could just have a seat up on the bed. That's fine. We should be all right for it. All prepared. We're done with the cleaning, though. So your heart sounds perfect, your lungs sound perfectly clear and normal, mm -hmm. your stomach is just gurgling like normal. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I, I think I haven't cleaned my ears. That side is <laughs> perfectly clear. <laughs> Both of them are perfectly normal. Say, ah, uh, uh. good, and feel under here. Good. 
I think overall you look fine. Can you look at my nose? Sure, if you want me to. <laughs> Since we're, I'm going to have you see the allergist, there's, there's lots of irritation, yep. You need to see the allergist. <laughs> yeah. irritation. Inflammation, irritation. Inflammation. Both. Really? Irritation usually equals inflammation. Okay. Yeah. So we will have the scheduler call you about the ultrasound. Okay, so you don't have to worry about that. They will call you. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to look to find the IHC, the colonoscopy. And if we can't, then we will call you to, to ask for your help. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Call or mail. Yeah. And, message. Or message, that type of thing. And then uh, take the cholesterol medicine. Definitely, I recommend it. And you will place that order already today? Um, the cholesterol? If, if you need refills, I can send them. Uh huh. I had previously sent a prescription for you. Okay, maybe so, I still have refills. So yeah, you probably still have refills since you haven't been taking it. Yeah. And then <laughs> a flu shot in the fall. Um, otherwise, I think you're doing well. Thank you. Okay. Thank it's you. good to see you again. Have a great rest of your day. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Okay. Bye. Bye. Just doesn't make sense to me. And guys, tapos na po kami with my doctor's appointment. Okay, papalabas na. And here are the doctors, the list of doctors that they have. There's a million doctors in the United States. This is just one building and it's got 50 doctors and this goes on mm -hmm. oh, thousands of cities. Yeah, and they, they have the list of doctors here. Tens of okay. thousands of cities. Mm. Hopefully... <laughs> Hindi ngat-ngat ng aming bunny yung kanyang box. Because uh, we, took, we took our bunny and Aurora. Because we're having an apartment. Yeah. My special. apartment. Check kasi kami. Naglilinis, naglilinis kami. Without them knowing. Yeah, yung bunny namin nakatira sa CR namin kasi. <laughs> so we have to clean. Ayan. I clean after the bunny. But he's pretty easy to clean up. Yeah. So, papauwi na po kami. Uh, thanks a lot for my doctor for the very informative uh, meeting or visit with my doctor. Ayan. So, papauwi na kami. So, guys, uh, uh, take care of yourself. Uh, mag, mag ano rin kayo. Take time to see your doctors, your primary doctors. Magpa-check up yearly. Kasi para ma... ma Ano rin kayo sa health nyo, maging aware kayo kung ano yung mga dapat nyong gawin. Mataas na pala yung cholesterol nyo. Mataas na pala yung BP nyo, hindi nyo pa alam. Yeah. Remember, uh, high bl blood pressure is a silent killer. Uh, traitor, traitor siya, kasi hindi mo alam eh. That's what I was gonna mention. I, I yeah. don't understand yeah. how high blood pressure, you can have high blood pressure and yeah, yeah, I think that if you control the cholesterol, it would control the high blood pressure. <laughs> it's a different thing. I have my I have high cholesterol, but my BP is is uh, low. low. Yeah, but sabi niya naman in the long run it can affect you. Yeah, so we have limits. Uh, our bodies can tolerate things, but uh, pag hindi na kaya yun na kaya nakakaroon na ng high blood pressure. Yeah, nakakaroon na ng stroke pag hindi na kaya. So that's why uh, kailangan balance yung bodies natin. So, ano, pwede naman yung uh, alternative medicine. Yeah. Uh, Hindi kayo masyadong ano sa doctors. Kasi may mga doctors talaga na push sila sa drugs. Yeah. Yeah. Marami na mga alternative medicine and he healthy lifestyle. Yung ang mga aitas, mga tribes living in the mountains, they live healthy and strong because of their lifestyle. Kasi sa atin ngayon, hindi na maiwasan yung mga kinakain natin, processed, mga dilata, hindi talaga maiwasan yung uh, magkaroon tayo ng mga health problems dahil na rin sa mga kinakain, sa pollution, sa quality ng ating water, quality of air. So, those contribute sa ating, ano, sa ating health. Yung naman ayun, no, sa mountains, may snow siya. Yeah. Yeah. And dapat ngayon uh, spring na kami. Yeah, pero nakikita niyo naman may mga slope pa siya.
So uh, thank you guys for watching and uh, be safe, have fun, be happy, stay healthy, um, maintain a good um, diet, exercise if you can. Um, and sabi nila, laughter is the best medicine. Food is also a medicine. So be careful with what you eat. Okay, uh, bye-bye and um, God bless and um, have a safe.